Hi everybody! A few weeks ago I did a quick survey on a Facebook group with fellow translators and they seemed very interested in getting ideas on how to put a business plan together. So today I'd like to go through one of the assignments I have in my Tools and Technology in Translation class when I ask students to reflect on what they want from their career in the translation and interpretation industry. The first thing I ask is for them to write down five short-term goals, that is, what they would like to achieve in a one to five year period. Then I ask them to write down five more items that they consider long-term goals, which they would like to achieve in 10 years or so. Depending on how they want to develop their careers, these goals might include working part-time or full-time as freelance translators, thus transitioning from their current employment, or maybe establishing their own company and possibly having colleagues working with them. Students usually mention that they would like to become members of a professional association, maybe even seeking certification after passing an exam like the one offered by the American Translators Association, and of course finishing their degree in translation and interpretation. After brainstorming these short-term and long-term goals, I ask them to write down their desired business names. Depending on the country where you operate, you can actually do business under your own name, or you can create a partnership, or establish a limited liability company or even a small corporation. Then I ask them to visualize their logo, an image that will represent their business. I tell them that it's also good to have a mission statement and a slogan while keeping their target audience in mind. Finally, I ask them what their marketing ideas and business strategies are. Will they contact translation agencies only, direct clients only, maybe both? Will they advertise only online or also in the conventional media? Are they planning on making business cards, flyers, and other promotional materials? As I always tell them, this business plan is not something set in stone. It's a dynamic list of ideas about what they would like to achieve throughout their career. Most students are overwhelmed at first, but they end up being glad that they took the time to set some direction that they can follow. I know it sounds obvious, but you definitely want to do a Google search when brainstorming for business names. After all, there are so many translation businesses out there, and you have to do everything possible to stand out from the crowd. Think about something that is unique to you, maybe related to your language combination, the country where you come from, or your main specialization. Maybe your last name brings to mind an interesting concept that you like to make the heart of your business. In any case, it's always a good idea to search for individual names within quotes so you can find results for that exact combination of words. Once you come up with a short list of unique business names, you still have to check if domain names are available for them. Give preference to .com domain names so it's easier for your clients to remember your web address. The main thing here is to be unique and easy to remember. After all, you don't want your clients to misspell your business name, nor do you want to send them someone else's way and lose a business opportunity.